In this video, I want to show you how you can extend the HDMI display of your laptop or PC up to 60 meters. To do this, you need something called HDMI extender. So this is a machine here. So simply this machine, I'm going to unhook everything. I'm going to show you from A to Z how you can hook it up. So this is the machine unhooked and as you saw that the display here is no longer showing. So this is a machine, it's called HDMI extender. It is composed of two parts, a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter should be powered and this is a power that comes with the machine. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the machine and for the cables in case you care to check them out. So first you need to hook the HDMI output of your PC to the HDMI of the transmitter here and then hook the RG45 cable. There's a port here. Just hook it like this. Don't power it up now. And then on the other end, you hook your RJ45 cable and then you connect the HDMI of the screen to the machine here in the HDMI input. So now everything is connected except the power. So now let's power it up and wait for it. And as you see here that the display is now transmitted to the monitor and this is here you can go up to 60 meter as I said with sound also. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go to my channel on YouTube and I'm gonna play a video and, now, and let me play it. To pay forward by passing this knowledge to others. This is why I created my YouTube channel Knowledge Sharing Tech. On my channel you can watch step-by-step -step videos about Windows, Mac, Linux, WordPress, Hulk. So as you saw the sound was going out from the monitor and the display is really good. There is no flickering, no pixelizing, anything, no even like a delay in the display. It's really good. This machine can transmit up to 1920 times 1080. This is full HD at 60 Hertz. This is the maximum. It's affordable. It's not too expensive. It's around $30, 30 US dollars. And if you want a 4K machine, there are 4K machines, but there are much more expensive than this one. For me, this is this does the job, so I'm satisfied with it. And for the cable, it should be CAT6 also. The RJ45 cable, it should be CAT6. So you get the most of the machine and the best display without stuttering and without losing any of the pixels on the display. And that was all. So I want to thank you all for watching. And if you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching once again.